Here's our friend Ballistic Bob. He's wearing a Warrior Helmet by SDS. This is a Kevlar helmet. We're going to throw some handgun rounds up against him. Up first we just have a 124 grain ball out of a 5 inch barrel or about 15 feet. Well, our buddy Bob probably would have felt that on his noggin. There's a nice dent there. Didn't go through. He's unharmed. So let's uh, try uh, some 5.7 now. So Bob has held up to 9mm. Let's see how he holds up to the standard SS197 from our 5.7 pistol. This is a 40 grain VMAX round. Approximately 715 750 feet per second from the pistol. Looks like our buddy Bob's still in one good shape. Here's our hit with the 197. There's a good sized little hole in there. But it didn't pass through, but there's a nice dimple in there. So he's going to feel that too. Let's uh, move on to a couple other rounds. Now we have some American Eagle 40 grain TMJ 5.7. Bob's got quite the headache, but he's still in one piece. Bob's bleeding. So here was our TMJ round. Uh, I do not see a pass through in there. I just see a lot of big, another big nasty bump. Bob's bleeding a little bit, but it didn't go through. Let's see what else we can throw at him. Here we have SS195. This is approximately 1900 to 1950 feet per second from the 5.7. Here's our 195. Still no pass through, but these are getting dented pretty good inside here, leaving some dimples on him. Let's go to something a little faster. Here is our SS198 LF. 5.7 pistol again. Ballistic Bob is still starting to get a headache, but he's not dead yet. Here's our 198. You can actually see a little bit of the green paint on the Kevlar. It's hard to see maybe from the camera, but there's a little bit of green paint there. Still no pass through. He's got a dent in his head now. Let's uh, let's see what we got next. Let's try a little bit slower. This is an SB193 subsonic 57 by 28 from our 57 pistol. Ballistic Bob is still in one piece. Here was our SB193. No penetration on that guy. There's a nice bump there. So Ballistic Bob has held up pretty good. So let's try some SS190. If any of you are familiar with the firearms blog, they did a similar test where they claimed SS190 couldn't penetrate. Most of what they showed kind of looked suspicious as if they weren't real SS190. You can tell kind of by the bullet profile that it comes up sharper to a point and a good telltale sign that these are true SS190 is they attract a magnet. These are 31 grains approximately 2,000 feet per second out of the 5.7 pistol. These do not have any cantalure on them whatsoever as again in the firearms blog showed one of their 3A tests 
the round they recovered had a cantaloupe on him. So let's see what these will do. So here's our SS 190 and our 57 versus our helmet. So here's our SS 190, our entrance and our exit from the Kevlar helmet and a hole in Bob's head. I have not recovered the round yet. It went in and out of his head. I don't see it anywhere in the uh, helmet, so I'm going to shoot it again. But at 15 feet, SS 190 is fully capable of penetrating in Warrior Helmet by SDS from the 57 pistol. Here's shot number two of SS 190 from our 57 pistol versus our Warrior Helmet. Let's try to see if we can recover around. So here is shot number two. We went in right there on the top. As you can see, we're way away from everything, so we're not compromising the integrity and in shooting the soft spot. There was our exit. Now here's something interesting. It cut through the top of the lid right here. There's no other damage to this first jug. Yet jug number two, the bullet entered in a yawing position, and it's in there. Very interesting. This is the first time I've seen SS 190 kind of uh, mushroom like that a little bit. Normally even shooting it through three level 3A panels, the entire bullet was still in its original shape. But you can see it's flattened out, and you can kind of see that steel tip sitting on the top of there. Interesting. Here is Elite Ammunition's S4M from our 5.7 pistol. So here's our S4M, here's our entrance. No exit, surprisingly. I mean, it's probably pretty close. I mean, there's a big, huge dent there. But Ballistic Bob, who now doesn't have a face, is unharmed. Here's Elite Ammunition's All Copper T6, our 5.7 pistol. Versus Ballistic Bob. Uh, I do believe Bob is really dead now. Here is our T6, our entrance. Here's, here's Bob's head. Here is the exit right there. And here is recovered T6 round. This is that held up pretty well. That's some pretty hard copper. If you guys would like to see me test this helmet against other rounds, throw them up in the comments below. Thanks for watching.